you use thin metal at first if you're bending steel like thin and go thicker and thicker and thicker and harder uh, and stones like go heavier and heavier and bigger and more awkward and, uh, and just build up from there and, and build up different feats you know try try a bit of everything so you'll be well well rounded like yeah and then um what about uh you know like contacting uh people for the shows and, and and that end of things do you have any um any advice or 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 any uh secrets to to make that kind of work better uh, well, um i would just uh, usually i just like find the charity like if i see an event say if no one contacts me for a show i'd see an event and it's for a good charity that I like. I contact them and I would ask them, like, uh, would you like me to perform a show at your event? Uh, and uh, if they say yes, then, we'll, then you do the show and that's uh, like that, you know. Yeah, very cool. It's probably <laughs> it's probably fairly um, easy to get into uh, the the charity events because they 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 want more stuff for the show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, they they're always looking for performers, you know, to fill in the shows, and you know, like they'll have music musicians and whatever. They'll have like comedy acts, magicians, whatever. And like they're always looking for someone to to fill in the shows, you know, for them. So it's it helps them out. Like it helps them out as well. <clears throat> yeah, that's very cool. <clears throat> Well, uh, we're about out of time. Um, I do want to thank you very much for uh, you know taking your time and, and being on here today. And um, you know you're you're halfway across the world from us, so <laughs> I do appreciate it. Uh, thank, uh, thank you, John. Thank you. Thank you a lot. It's, a, it's an honor to to be on your show and, and to speak with you. We've been friends on Facebook for a long time. Uh, big respect for you. I, I always followed you. And <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> Big respect for you, mate, and uh, and thanks. You know, it was <laughs> yeah, very cool. Um, I'd I'd like to get you back on at some point, and um, and, and we'll talk some more. And uh, um, yeah, maybe yeah, maybe that'd be one great. Of these, that'd be great. That'd be great. <laughs> it'd be cool. Maybe that'd one of these great. days we'll cross paths in uh, in person at some point. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. and maybe maybe we can we can get some. We can get Mr. Cool in, maybe, to speak with us. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah, I would love to. <clears throat> yeah, it would be, be funny, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> yeah, well, let's definitely set that up then, and um, we, we can get him on here uh, the next time around, for sure. Yeah, yeah, next, next time we'll get Mr. Cool. He'll like that, he'll like that. Yeah. He had, a bad, he had a bad accident recently, you know. He was working on the roof, and he fell. He broke uh, his ribs, and he... He broke his back as well, three three slip discs, and uh, it's a shame. Like now he's now he's recovered, so that he can do you know he can't do what he could do before. But he still comes with me to shows and he still performs, tries to perform at his best, you know, with, despite his injuries, and still performs with me, you know. So now <laughs> he he had to recover pretty quickly, right? Because I remember um... like three months ago he had the accident. Three yeah. months ago now. Yeah, that's pretty incredible. Because <laughs> I had, yeah, he's, he's I, seventy years old as well. So <laughs> I had seen uh, I had seen a post of yours about him uh, yeah. being injured, but I, I don't think there was details. And then, um, yeah, I mean that's pretty incredible. He's seventy, fell off a roof, and he's back at it. Seventy years old, yeah. In, in 90- I mean, it was pulling, it was pulling trucks a lot long ago, and that, I mean, which is. Pretty, it's, it's it's impressive. It's incredible at his age, you know, get to pull a twelve-ton truck or whatever, ten-ton truck. I mean, I don't know how he does it at his age. You know, it's amazing. But yeah. It's just, it's a shame now that I mean he's not what he was before. But I mean, the main thing is that he can walk and you know he can he can uh, drive and, and you know do do the daily chores that he needs to do and and he can do the shows as well. He still can do some feet so it's good for him you know and it's a sad it's a sad occurrence but that's life and that's life <laughs> yeah that is yeah it's cool that he's uh, able to able to you know come back from that um 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. It's, fair, it's, fair, it's fearless. <laughs> it's fearless. It's, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm sure being being strong definitely probably helped, and then a lot of a lot of its mindset coming back from something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think really, it really did help him. I, I, I think if he was in, as strong as he was, he, he would have he would have died. Huh? He would have died that accident. Yeah. I mean, he broke all his ribs. He broke his back. Uh, a three slip disc as well. And uh, I, don't, I don't know how he's walking. It's a miracle, right? Yeah. He, he has to walk with tr- crutches. But, I mean, he can walk, uh, you know, uh, it's marvelous, really. Cool. Yeah, well, I'd love to talk to him. That would be great. So we'll set that up for the future. And, uh, we'll yeah, Joe, that'd be great. That'd be yeah. great. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're about out of time. Uh, this has been John the Viking Mauser, uh, Tony Frugia, Get Strong or Die.